When it comes to Joe Biden, this is something he does all the time. It, it's, it's almost bizarre. It, it's, it's not as if a president will just say uh, an economy is good when it actually sucks. They all kind of do that. But Joe Biden will tell lies that can be easily disproven, easily. He tells people a lot that he was a professor at the University of Pennsylvania. He says this a lot. You make me miss being a professor at Penn. When I left the vice presidency, I had a chance to do a number of things, but I took a professorship at the University of Pennsylvania. I've been on a lot of university campuses. Matter of fact, for four years, I was a full professor at the University of Pennsylvania. In the years between leaving office as vice president and winning the nomination for president, the thing I missed most, and I mean it sincerely, I was a professor at the University of Pennsylvania. When I left the United States Senate, I became a professor at the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, Joe Biden never taught a class. He never taught a class. He pulled in a million dollars from the school to make a couple of appearances, but he was never a professor. And again, this is not something where you have to be Sherlock Holmes and go digging under holes and I got to figure this out and let me talk to the witnesses. It's just, it's all easily verifiable. He, he lies about things that are easily disproven and he does so repeatedly. All his talking points about guns, they're all lies every single time. Every single thing he says here is a lie. Very beginning, the Second Amendment didn't say you can own any gun you want, as big as you want. You couldn't buy a cannon when, in fact, the Second Amendment passed. The Second Amendment's not absolute. When it was passed, you couldn't own a you couldn't own a cannon. You couldn't buy a cannon, and when the, this this uh, amendment was passed, and so no reason why you should be able to buy certain assault weapons. Yeah, you could. That's, it's not, again, that's not a slight manipulation of the truth or, oh, I just have a different version of it. Yes, you could buy a cannon. Many people did. Private cannon ownership was a very common thing. How blatant was this lie? Well, it's quite a statement to say this media outlet or this media outlet is the most disgusting, repulsive media outlet in America. Because how do you make that call, right? Is it CNN, or New York Times? You could easily make the argument the Washington Post is the most disgusting communist rag in the, in the United States of America today. Even the Washington Post came out and said, this whole canon thing, that's... That's not true at all. The Washington Post. I'm not talking about me here, Jesse Kelly on I'm Right. It wasn't Buck Sexton on his show calling him out. The Washington Post was forced to say, Ugh. yeah, that, none of that's true at all. Again, easily provable lies. Afghanistan. J Joe Biden is... He loves to say about Afghanistan that because it was such a disaster and such an international embarrassing disaster, Joe Biden loves to say, well, I mean, there was nothing else we could do. Certain things that are just like, for example, Afghanistan. Well, I've been against that war in Afghanistan for the, from the very beginning. We're spending $300 million a week in Afghanistan over 20 years. Now, how do you know, everybody says you could have gotten out without any, anybody being hurt. No one's come up with a way to ever indicate to me how that happens. And he wasn't against Afghanistan. He wasn't. And we didn't have to leave all our people there and just scurry off in the dark of night. We could have done it methodically, getting out. Yes, of course, good. We all wanted out and done it in a smart way so Afghanis weren't hanging off the landing gear on the way out of the country. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History, The Forgotten Genocide, the first episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.